For my critical thinking exercise, I wanted to share with you how I use Zotero. I also wanted to expand my current knowledge, so I reviewed the Zotero website and found the option to create timelines. So this short demo will show you how I use Zotero and about the timeline feature I recently discovered. So I have Zotero installed on my computer as a standalone. You can also access it through the website. So the standalone is available in my dock. I'm using a Mac. And you can see my Zotero library has a number of items in there, getting close to 500. I've been using it for a number of years, and the timeline actually showed me that I've been using it um, for about 10 years. So the collections are able to be separated, and I have a teaching and learning resources collection that I keep a number of subfolders and when I find articles of interest or if I have a topic that I need to research I create a collection. Right now I've been working on the peer review. Um, we're trying to find an option for video peer review activities and um, this pane can be hidden to show more of the library items. I can click this small dot to make the pane come back again. And by clicking an item, I see all of the related metadata. I've installed Zot file as a plug plugin, which is um, very useful. Zot file will allow me to um, download the PDF file separately. And then when I drag it into my library, it names that PDF file the name of the author and then the name of the title with the year. So that is um, a very useful thing. Another thing that Zot file does for me is if I open up the PDF file that I've extracted, and if I highlight items on the page that I find useful, um, I'll just give you a little example here. So if I highlight that item and then save, I can close that and as I right click on the file, I can go to manage attachments, extract annotations, and Zot file is, is going to give me my notes that I highlighted in my um, Zotero library. So I'm also going to show you very quickly the um, timeline tool that I discovered. So I'm going to highlight my main library and go to Tools, Create Timeline, and I can show by the date added. And you can see that um, uh, different projects caused me to research more. And this goes back to about 2010 when this library was started. And it'll show me um, sections and research topics that I had of interest. So back in uh, August 2011, it looks like I was just, uh, preparing for a presentation on millennials. Um, so that's the timeline feature. And so that is the Zotero demo that I wish to share with you.